Okay, guys, so tonight's Zoom is going to be about questions to ask your consult your customers to make sure that you're getting all the right information to be able to, you know, put it put together a, a skincare regimen, um, you know, foundation choices, all these things that you know your customers are going to need because you are the skincare and color cosmetic expert, right? Um, that is, this is one of my pet peeves is all, uh, you know, these new consultants that come in, they never get trained and they quit, you know, they, they only last a couple of weeks and then we inherit these customers. And I remember being at a party a couple of years ago and this like literally 70 year old woman, um, we're at the skincare and she whips out, well, I want to get this. And it was the botanicals. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> who sold you this like you should have left this about 65 years ago <laughs> anyway she ended up getting the uh, value firm and so what I know is even if you inherit a customer never assume that that consultant that they had before did all their training and knew what they were doing okay and so whenever you do inherit a customer whether you get it by you know, phone or a new, you know, a new web order, um, a text message, I always offer them a gift certificate to sit down, um, you know, at a later date, they've got to have, like, if they're having a makeup emergency, they've got to have an eye makeup remover. And then I tell them, you know, the next couple of weeks, I would love to give you a $20 gift certificate to sit down let me get to know your skin so I can make some notes so that I can service you, um, you know, the best of my ability based on everything that I know about your skin. Um, and I said, that's, you know, that way I can be the best consultant for you. So with that being said, um, we had a situation with another consultant uh, last week and the consultant was texting me, um, you know, the things that hurt customer was asking and, and this is just kind of prompted uh, we need to we need to train on this and so um, this customer has been on our clinical solutions the retinol 0.5 the whole the, the two-step since July using it no problem well then all of a sudden the text I get is she's having breakouts well I'm assuming that her breakouts are like acne right that's breakouts um so we kept going I kept going back and forth and kind of kept digging in like you know I've never had acne um we'll take a picture of it let me let me see what this looks like and that's when she said well I don't think you can see it it's white and I said okay that doesn't sound like something that would happen from clinical solutions and then I remembered something that had happened to me when I changed um, a hair product that I was using. It, I, I'd gotten some, a hairdresser, I had gotten a temporary hair cut because I couldn't get to my hair salon and they had sold me the, this Moroccan oil. Well, because it was in the hairline, I broke out in all these under, these bumps underneath my skin. It was just basically clogged pores from this oil. And I, I had this consultant text her. I said, ask her if these bumps are along the hairline. Guess what they were? They were along the hairline because what was so unusual about this is she had already been on the clinical solution since July. She already should have gone through her retinalization process of that whole eight weeks and unless, and she kept, I kept saying, did you add anything to this? Are you doing, are you adding anything on the night that you're using this? I was asking her all, I was, you know, prompting all these correct questions and no, I'm not using this with it. I'm only doing this with it. Everything sounded like she was doing everything correctly. And I'm like, there's no reason why she should be getting a breakout now. And so that's when I, when she said it's along my hairline and it's white, it's underneath. And I said, that is not our product. That is your hair product. So you've changed something about your hair product 
And that's what that is. Well, she didn't like that. And she still wanted her money back. And that's when I said to our consultant, I said, it was never about our product. She needed her money back. She needed her $121 back. And honestly, guys, sometimes that's the case. And we just have to honor it. And I told her, I said, take her off your list. Don't try to service her. You don't need a customer that bad. That's going to be unethical. Um, it's going to be shady. Um, that's going to use half the product up. And then, you know, you don't need a customer that bad. And so I'm just telling you one customer is not going to make or break your business. And so be okay with taking that customer off your list. I've had to do that before. I had a customer, I mean, very successful businesswoman in my town. Her husband's a pilot. Um, I don't want to go any further in case someday she gets on the side. <laughs> but she kept ordering like $200 worth of stuff and then re would return 180 Very unhappy, hard to please. And finally, I just said, I just took her off my list. Took her off my list. She didn't get any more books and refused to service her. Like, I don't have time for this. Move on. Um, and hey, I'm doing fine. So there. Um, and then she keeps calling me and her daughter keeps calling me for Mocha Freeze. And I'm like, I don't have Mocha Freeze. If I had Mocha Freeze, I would keep it for myself. <laughs> <laughs> I told them. Because <laughs> I still don't want them as customers. All right. So here we go. So asking, just keep asking and digging because if something doesn't smell right it's it's not right um breakouts you guys know breakouts is not an allergic reaction we've got to pound that in i don't care if you say it you have to say that at every single appointment with every new customer okay you your job is to educate your customer so that you don't get these calls you go ahead and tell her say okay if you tend to break out with new things. This is a very deep cleanser. It is made to clean out, purge your pores. It's going to bring it to the surface. That's the way you get it out. Um, if you're, let's go ahead and get a, 10, a $12 acne treatment gel to spot treat as we're going through that acclimation process. Okay. Um, and so I think I've gone over that so many times with my other training videos. Mixing product, I, I say that too at my parties. I talk about, you know, if you're using brand X um, as a cleanser and then brand B as a moisturizer and uh, brand A said, we're going to max out this ingredient in our um, cleanser. The other one said, we're going to max out that same ingredient in our moisturizer. And you just happen to put those two together and boom, you're going to get, you're going to get some major chemical reactions on your face, you know, you're going to get the, uh, I think dermatitis, you're going to get the, you know, the big, the big acne, the irritation. Find a line. I tell my people, you know, my customers, I don't care if you don't ever buy Mary Kay, but from this point on, because I'm teaching you the proper way to take care of your skin, find a line and use that whole line. Okay. That's everything. Because our line is all tested together and I don't, I can't vouch for another line, but I know that we do over 500,000 tests every single year alone, just on the ingredients. So our products can be mixed and matched and combined and customized and everything that's good in the world. And it will all work out if you, you know, use one line and use that whole line. Skin conditions. Um, today, I had a, um, a, a facial to mother daughter and obviously it was, it was my, I'll tell you, it was a, um, it, it was my new customer, um, Nadia, and she won't mind me saying this, but she's my first African-American woman that I've ever seen with rosacea. And I spotted that and I'm like, I think you have rosacea, but I've never seen um, it on an Afri you know, African-American woman. And so we Googled it and sure enough, I like, okay, Nadia, I think this is rosacea. We talked about it burns when she uses anything that has control or when she scrubs, it burns when she uses anything that controls oil, it burns. Um, and so we, we treated her just like I would with a white woman with, um, with rosacea. And so, you know, being able to spot that 
those skin conditions, Google those skin conditions, get familiar with them, you know, and know which products. So our, our timeline line for normal to dry skin is, is good for that. And our charcoal mask, stay away from microderm, anything that's abrasive, you know, if, um, you could even do the three in one bar. You can totally customize it. So that was, you know, something that uh, asking her the questions today. Okay, let's talk about this. I mean, and you know, tell me what makes you, what makes it irritated, and and oh my gosh, we it looks so good. And then we did the foundation, um, and it looked amazing. We covered it up. You guys, our foundation is a home run. Um, I I wish I would have taken a picture. Um, She's going to come back and do her birthday party with me. And I recruited her daughter, who's um, like four weeks away from having a baby, her first grandbaby. And so I'm going to take, um, I'm going to get her to take the before and after and then take it again when I do her makeup. But it was amazing. So know these skin conditions. So let's talk about some of the skin conditions, eczema and psoriasis. So over the years, I kind of get confused on what, what they look like and and so I've been Googling it and really educating myself because everybody has all kinds of allergies. You know, we can get into the conspiracy theory about all that. I'm a conspiracy theory person. I'm like, uh, we didn't have this 20 years ago, but everybody's got allergies and allergic reactions and things like that. But eczema is more of, it's going to be red, dry area. It's, it's scaly, but it's still kind of red in patches. Um, psoriasis is red, but it tends to be more lesions, more rays, and it gets more white and scaly, white, crusty. And so that's how you can tell the difference. And so like my dad, my real dad has psoriasis really, really bad. And when I get stressed out, I get psoriasis right here. And it's, it's caused some scarring over the years. And so now, because, you know, we've got the, um, the naturally oil, anytime I get stressed and I have a breakout next time I get stressed, I should be stressed right now. <laughs> I guess I'm handling my stress. Um, I've had a lot going on in the last two months, but I put the, um, the naturally oil on it. And then I, I cover it with our extra moyet night cream. And you guys, within one to two days, it's gone. You know, if you've got eczema or psoriasis or whatever, it's very itchy. Um, but yeah, it, we've got some really amazing products with some really good, um, amazing ingredients that are just naturally healing. Okay, naturally healing. Um, dark spots, we all know when you've got a customer that's going to text you. And that's probably the number one question I get is, I've got dark spots. How do I get rid of them? Well, before we put the cart before the horse, what is your skincare regimen on? Find out what their skincare regimen. Are you cleansing every morning and every night? Do you have an additional deep exfoliator? Because you've got to be doing something that is going to help get that dead skin off. Because a lot of times it's just dead, um, sunburned, suntanned skin, right? And just you just need to get it off and get that healthy skin exposed. And so that's the first thing I ask, you know, what, what is your cleanser like? Do you have a deep exfoliator if it's a new customer or if, if it's a consultant, you know, it's more not my customers because I sit down and I, I can see, but if I get calls from consultants and, you know, they, you, you guys may not have the confidence to say, you're going to need to get on a cleanser and moisturizer first, and you're going to need a microdermabrasion, or you're going to need a facial peel. I'm quick to say that. I'm not going to sell you a one, one, uh, you know, a one pony trick, a one trick pony, because you've got to be doing these things. Because what just happened to you right here did not happen overnight. Okay, it's not going to go away overnight. You're going to need a cleanser. You're going to need a moisturizer. You're going to need some, um, like I said, a deep exfoliator. And, and then you can start incorporating your skin brighteners, you know, your, your charcoal mask that's got skin brighteners in it. Our clinical solutions line has got that new brightener. We're doing away with the um, tone corrector because why do we do that? Well, there's a new kid on the block. Uh oh, 
there's a new kid on the block that's more powerful. You know, that's that's the research and development. My, hold on. Uh, why is it doing this? Hold on. I know you guys probably can't see any of this, but my computer's going crazy. Okay, so when we, we discontinue a product, it's because there's a new kid on the block because of research and development. We have that new million dollar, re, you know, multi million dollar research and development plant that's going to just keep hitting out home run after home run. So you'll be seeing, you know, some old favorites kind of slide away because, hey, we got this new thing that's going to, you know, knock it out of the park. And that's what this new clinical solution Brightener is doing. But do you sell that one thing to your customers without them being on these other things? No. That's what I'm talking about, putting the cart before the horse, because, you know, all these things that all these bad habits that your customers did um, got them to this place. They weren't cleaning like they should be. They weren't removing things. They were they were out in the sun, getting the sun damage, you know, the pregnancy mass, sun damage and hormones. OK, those are all the things that are causing this skin discolorations and then pigmentations. And so when they're not doing all the daily you know, uh, regiments that's going to prevent this, then they, they want that one, you know, that get rich quick scheme, right? They want that one time um, quick, you know, the quick fix. You've got to teach them the right way and don't be afraid to teach them the right way. You know, our products are amazing. They work, they last. And they're so, you know, when you look at how long they last, which based on how much it costs, it's pennies, pennies per day, really. Okay. And so that's just some of the things that I do for dark spots. We talked about hormonal mass, pregnancy mass, good skincare routine, um, skip, uh, skipping your system. Um, I, I'll, I say this a lot. Find little ways that a woman can relate to you when it comes to don't skip a step, okay? Would you leave out your eggs in your cake? No, okay? then don't leave out your night correct your your night corrector don't leave out your day protector okay do a cleanser do a moisturizer um do you know do your supplements every other night don't skip these steps okay it, because you're not going to go out there and bake a cake without eggs that's you're asking your cake to rise without putting eggs in it you know you think you're going to look like you know whatever but you're not willing to do the things. And so you are the teacher. You are more of a teacher than a salesperson, okay? And when you can grasp that, I think you're going to enjoy your business more because I didn't like, I don't like being a salesperson. I love teaching. I love teaching this product and people respond better to them being taught versus being sold, okay? Foundation matching, another thing, you know, when, gosh, that's the hardest thing to do is match someone um, over the phone, <laughs> but, you know, you got, you can start, if they're not willing to sit down with you, I would just drop off, a, you know, you ask her those questions, are you, do you burn in the sun, do you tan, do you stay the same, and kind of just go from there, and then, give her if she let's say she burns in this then tan she's neutral and I would start with the three most popular neutral colors and then get her to try them and then if she says you know do, what, do you look too yellow okay because that is a yellow undertone then you know oh my neck is pink and I look yellow you know whatever a lot of things happen if she's like well my neck is pink but my face is a different color well guess what there's some questions to ask about that. Are you on medication that could cause you to be, you know, have, that's the high blood pressure, okay? There's a lot of medications that turn your neck red, okay? Or, you know, when I get mad, I get red, okay? Some people, when they drink wine, they get really flushed up here. But, but if somebody just every day says that her neck is this color, but her face is this color, um, it's acid, if it's medication, uh, you know, do they, are they tanning? You, you ask those questions, okay, if, if you just are having trouble matching her. Um, because a, a lot of the tanning bed, 
look is not a natural look. Like all of our colors are based on a natural undertone and a tanning bed tan is not natural. It's the hardest color to match. So you've got to do a little bit of pink, a little bit of um, warm because they're getting a tan, but they're burning because it's an, un you get it. You've seen people. And so it's unnatural. And so you might have to mix. You might tell her you need this color and warm and you need this color and cool and you've got to mix it. Okay. So asking those questions, especially if you see her and you're like, why are you two different colors here? And you're thinking to yourself, okay, I've got to try to, you've got to try to match that because you don't want her to be, you know, yellow and then pink here. You've got to do your job and, and match her right. And our foundations are really, really wonderful because we have that, that 12, the 12 hour wear, but we have that special match system. It's a perfect match system. We're the only ones that have it and we have a patent on it. Okay. Um, all right. So let's talk about, go back for a second. I'm going to turn it over to Marianne. Those white bumps. Remember I talked to in the very beginning, I talked about a customer that had the white bumps around. So the, what those are, I want to tell you what those are. That is trapped dead skin that formed um, cysts below the surface of the skin. So like when I use my new hair product that is Moroccan oil, that had an oil, I clogged my pores, okay? And then um, that's where the trapped dead skin got. And that guess how I got rid of that? Our products, microdermabrasion, facial peel, charcoal mask, microdermabrasion, of, of course, doing my cleanser or moisturizer, but I was using my supplements like religiously and it finally went away because you, you guys, I'm 22 years. I've never had anything like that. And I'm like, what the heck just happened? And how am I going to get rid of this? And boom, our products got rid of it just within a few days. So there you go. All right, Marianne, I know you've got some things to talk about. Okay. Ditto to everything she just said. <laughs> and my favorite is just not to assume that really they know anything, even if they have a confident personality Stick to your script, stick to your training, and you will find that you are the skincare and makeup expert. And even if, you know, they they sound like as you're talking and they're sharing and you recognize they have more of a knowledge base, keep asking questions because you can, you know, you'll find more out about them and, and kind of learn from them in a way. Um, so another skin condition that has a different combination that has worked really well is actually cystic acne. Um, when we find that the acne treatment or the clear proof line really isn't making a huge dent, they may have that cystic acne. And a lot of our people have had great success with our naturally line. Uh, one gal, she still like needed, even though she'd been using Mary Kay forever, still just had really problematic skin and still had to go to the dermatologist on a monthly basis. And so after using the Natri line for a while, the dermatologist said, what are you doing to your skin? She's like, it's so much better. And so that's a really great tool. And then also the, um, the clinical solutions, like we talked about before. So those are ones that, you know, I wouldn't have natural, I wouldn't have naturally thought use the naturally for cystic yeah. acne. Um, and then sometimes if you've got someone who's really, really oily and kind of acne prone and they're using all the things and not making a lot of progress, try, just give it a shot and switch her to a normal to dry. Sometimes they can be normal with acne, the cystic acne, and with the combination to oily, it's just stripping it too much. And so therefore the body is overproducing the oil and the sebum to hydrate it properly. So those are some interesting situations we've come across before. Um, those are the main ones that I really love. So those are really, see, see guys, when you do have customers like this, so the cystic acne, oh, uh, that's like, you just want to bang your head because you want to help so bad. And it, it's, it's really hard. So that's a new one. Thank you, Marianne. But oh, oh, I lost my train of thought. Why did I lose my train of thought? Ah, oh. Tell your customers, they just work with me. Just give me time. Let me get it right. I promise you, Mary Kay can get, we can fix this, okay? And just don't 
throw out the baby with the bathwater. Is that is that that old saying? Um, but just convince her to work with you and, you know, just communicate. Communication is key. And then you can always call your directors. You can even call medical services. They are, they're pretty knowledgeable too. Um, you know, I've done that for years too. If I was having trouble, I, I, I've had a customer who've been with me forever and she would go oily and then dry, extremely oily, and then dry. And I, I, you know, that's my, honestly, I learned most of my stuff from my customer, Kathy, because she would just go from one extreme to the other. And yeah, so it, you know, it's, it's trial and error. It's, it's uh, the process. It's the process, you know, getting out there, you know, getting in front of your customers and you just learn so much through the process. Once again, I know we talked about the process a couple of weeks ago. All right, guys, thank you for uh, calling in. I'm going to stop the recording right now. And if you have any questions, we will, you know, if you've got a, a scenario you want us to run by us, we would be glad to help you with it.